Hello and welcome back to SAP Plan Maintenance. This is Farooq from QBRP. So in this session we are going to look at calibrating plan. So what is calibrating plan? So suppose you have a got you have a weigh scale, you have a, or a temperature or a pressure gauge which is being used continuously, but then over a period of time you need to go back and check or, or measure against uh, your standard to see that the that the reading is being reading given by these instruments is correct because over time they will they will tend to go plus or minus so that the readings become incorrect so you might have a plan like every six months or a yearly these will be recalibrated maybe an external party will come and do a recalibration or you will have somebody in internally in your QM module or in a QM function who can do this work and then give a certification so that you know that all of your processes where the temperature or the pressure has to be measured are all working correctly. So what we need is we need a instrument to like a weigh scale. So I have a weigh scale. I have already created a weigh scale. So once we have got weigh scale then we need to create something called master inspection characteristic. This is basically done in QM, so let's do this one. Q, the transaction for this one is QS21. So let's go to QS21 and we'll create a characteristic. So let's create. So, so we are using for a weigh scale so we'll say like uh, I already have weigh a weigh one so I will just say weigh two press enter so let's give some sort of a text short text in a search field weight characteristic for we scale in the search field I will just say we weight scale so because this is quantitative so quantitative means measurable so we will just say quantitative we will change the status to release and then we will say copy the complete model once we have done all of this one uh, this is not a qualitative. Qualitative is, is something which is not numerical. It can be like color, it can be a smell. So this is qualitative, uh, sorry, quantitative, which is measurable. So once we put all the fields, uh, updated all the fields as required, we'll press enter. So now what we want to do is we want to say, okay, what sort of characteristic control indicators do we need so we we'll say okay we need lower limit the target limit and upper limit so target limit is in between of lower and upper and up lower limit is like what is acceptable for us in the lower limit and upper limit what is acceptable for us in the upper limit so suppose we have a weigh scale which has got a value of we need a so we need a value of hundred. So if it gives us hundred and one and it gives us ninety nine, then we can say that we can accept the reading of our weigh scale. Press enter. Uh, on the screen we don't need to do anything. Just press enter again. So let me just press enter again. Okay, so the target value I will say target value I need 10, lower I will accept 9, upper I will accept 11. So these are the values which we are going to accept. Press enter. So the scale will be considered to be in working condition even if the read, reading has a variance of plus minus 1. Uh, this is acceptable so let's save this one so once we save this one it's going to say characteristic 1000 weight 2 has been created okay so the master characteristic inspection characteristic has been created 
So the next step is we need to create a task list. And in the task list we will give inspection points. So the transaction to create a task list is IA01, weight scale. Let me just add a task list because it already has some previous ones. Weight scale, let's give the usage to be 4, plant maintenance, status to be 4, released. And here we are going to maintain this one, inspection. Press enter, go to operations, in the operation we will give, uh, so we need to give some sort of description, so now let's say to carry out calibration, to carry out calibration of the scale. And, as, and assign the inspection characteristics to this operation. To assign the inspection characteristic, select the line, click on inspection characteristic, and uh, here we need to assign the inspection characteristic that was just created. Let's try to find it. So this is the one that we created today, weight characteristic for weight scale, press enter, so, so we have given the master inspection characteristic that we have just created, sampling procedure, so we need to give a sampling procedure here. Press enter again here. So it will ask us for a sampling procedure, so we will take a option whatever is there, fix purchase order, so that's it and let's save it. So the keep and task list, list has been saved now with the sampling procedure. So the next step is uh, in the calibrating plan is to we need to uh, plan the equipment task list. So let's go to the transaction IP41 to do the planning. So we're going to say like uh, maybe this is done every six months. So the QM calibration plan, let's take the QM, press enter. Calibration of the weight scale, let's do it every 60 day, 60 days, this is my 60 day plan, equipment is the weight scale, press enter, so order type is PM06, calibration order, so let's take a drop down and see the order times available, calibration order, we take calibration order.